New at 4 o'clock, a protest turned violent on campus at Grossmont High School earlier today, prompted El Cajon police to respond. ABC 10 News reporter Rena Nakano is there live. Rena. Hi, Kim. It all started with students protesting what they say is an unfair dress code towards girls. That prompted police presence and ambulance presence. We saw at least one person being carried out in a gurney. Students at Grossmont High School protesting what they say is an outdated and unfair dress code. Students were sent this email over the weekend reminding them of the rules. Many taking issue with the ban on sleeveless outfits, oversized or tight fitting clothes or showing any chest. Many say it's targeting girls to get punished. I don't think that there's anything distracting about my 15 year old shoulders. I don't think that my chest, my thighs, my shoulders. I don't think that that should be shown as something that's wrong. I don't think I should have to hide my body. Grossmont Union High School District officials say students were asked to return to class after lunch, but many refused. They say the students began throwing apples and water, prompting school administration and El Cajon police to call for a secure campus. It's different from from a quote lockdown um, where um, uh, students are, are taking shelter in class. The school day continues, but um, a lot of times a secure campus is called because there's a law enforcement um, or a law enforcement incident um, in the area. Uh, and so we, it's, it's, it's to secure to secure the campus. Students say by the end of the day, at least three kids were detained by El Cajon police. And according to this new dress codes, the violations could range anywhere between having the students change into clothes that are provided by the school to suspension. And if it gets really bad, they could also call the parents to bring them a set of clothes. We did hear from school officials that they are open to having listening sessions with the students regarding this dress code. Live in El Cajon, I'm Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. Seems like there is need for dialogue. Thank you, Rena.